Shalom Ubracha and Shabbat Shalom. Trivia question. In which parasha in the Torah contains the most mitzvot? You guessed it. This week's parasha, Parashat Ki contains 74 mitzvot. While it's impossible to talk about all 74 mitzvot in the time we have, I want to focus on one that I think will shed light not only on a philosophy that the Torah has, but also a very important message for us as the Jewish nation. The first mitzvah in this week's parasha is, uh, focuses on Eshet Yefat To'ar. Eshet Yefat To'ar means when a person comes out and was commanded by Hashem to engage in a milchemet mitzvah, a mitzvah, a war uh, uh, that we must engage in to, in order to get Eretz Yisrael, a person is not allowed to just take the captive women from the conquered nation and make them his wife. A person can only do that once the Eshet Yefat To'ar laws are satisfied. It involves making the woman look extremely ugly and distasteful and having her sit for a period of 30 days and only then can the person take him, take, take her as his wife. Question is, why is this mitzvah here in the Torah and what can we learn from it? On the simplest level, we understand that it means restraint. Just like with kashrut laws, laws of dietary laws, at nidah laws, family purity, and Shabbat laws, we can't just do what we want. Hashem tells us in this time and in this place you can act, but in other times and places you cannot act. Same thing here. You can't just take to the victor go the spoils and then take the women for yourself. You need to show restraint. But it goes deeper. We're trying to show, Hashem is trying to show us that when it comes to assembling a, mil- a military, or when it comes to uh, exuding force on someone else, even that force needs to be restrained. That force needs to be controlled and only directed for what Hashem tells us to do. We cannot be cruel, we cannot be unkind, and we cannot be aggressive. We can take this lesson and really be proud of what Sahal Savaha Ganal Israel has done. In the very definition of Sahal, of Savaha Ganal Israel, Israeli defense force. We will defend ourselves if needed. But it is not an army that is made to pillage, to plunder, and to try to amass wealth and territory. That's not what an army does. That's not what a holy army does. That is not what an army of God does. And therefore, we learn from Eshet Yefat Torah, not only restraint, but a philosophy for if we ever need to go into battle. Rabotai, we definitely find ourselves on the front lines in many different arenas. But what we need to understand is when we show restraint, when we show calm, when we show control, and most of all, when we show compassion, we are truly acting in the way of God. Shabbat Shalom.